We're gonna start by putting a whole egg into a thing of dehydrated potatoes. We're gonna then bring in a Ziploc bag and we're gonna go ahead and dump the entire thing into the bag. Next, we have some cayenne pepper. Give a couple sprinkles of that. Depending on how much heat you want, you might wanna add more. And I have some extra virgin olive oil. We're gonna go ahead and squirt some of that in there. You don't need much. Some black pepper. You can use freshly ground if you want. We have some chili powder, some paprika, some onion powder, make sure it's organic, some ionized salt, and I have some of these garlic herb breadcrumbs. We're gonna sprinkle about mm, that much. And last but not least, my secret ingredient, some ranch seasoning. Oh baby, just a little bit, goes a long way. And then we're gonna go ahead and seal this bag up, and then we're just gonna squish it around combining all the ingredients together. Once it looks like this, we're gonna bring in a mixing bowl, dump the contents of the Ziploc bag into the mixing bowl, just like this. Then I'm gonna add a little bit more breadcrumbs because it's a little li more liquidy than I would like it to be. With your hand, just go ahead and mix that all together. We got about two tablespoons of wheat flour we're gonna go ahead and chuck in there as well. Mix that up and this is gonna help actually get this to stick together. Yeah, it's kinda sticking in my hand now, that's the consistency we want. We're gonna move this to the side. Bring in your air fryer bowl. We have this parchment paper. We're just gonna go ahead and shove that down into the bowl. Now remember the mixture we made. We're gonna go ahead and take like an ice cream scoop. Get about that much. Put it in your hand. Kind of roll it. Roll it up like this. Keep about half that, okay? And then roll this up, put it down. And you can make these whatever size you want, but I kind of like them about, uh, I'd say the size of a 50 cent piece. So put that down. And then we're just gonna continue to do this and line the entire bottom of the, of the air fryer. Once they look like this, we got nine of them in there, evenly spread out. We're gonna go ahead and come over to the air fryer and we're gonna throw this in at 400 degrees. It's been nine minutes and when you look at those, they're almost ready. So what we're gonna do now is we have this cheddar cheese. We're gonna go ahead and put a little bit of cheese on each one. This is just gonna level it up even more. Sprinkle as much or as little cheese as you want. And we're gonna throw this back in for another five minutes at 400. Okay, four more minutes and look at that, you guys. Oh my gosh, so we're gonna go ahead and Pull these out. We're gonna go ahead and plate these. These are my take on tater tots and they're very healthy because they're made in the air fryer. I mean, you could obviously do the same thing and put them in a regular fry, deep fryer if you wanted to, but not necessary with this recipe. Now they're all on the plate. We're gonna throw them down here and look at this, you guys. They're cooked perfectly. Just so you know, we're gonna break one of these open. Oh my gosh. So what I like to do is move them to the side, get some ketchup. You can use whatever sauce you want to dip it in. You don't have to use sauce if you don't want to. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Give it a little dip and down the hatch. Mm. This is so good, you guys. You have to try this.